and welcome to A Life Full of Meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And together we make a weekly vlog. Where we document our search for more meaningful life. So, without further ado, let's show you how the week unfolded. Good morning and welcome to Saturday. Saturday in Brixham pirate festival weekend well mr warner he went off to work this morning he's expecting a busy day and he's not too chuffed about it i am running a little bit late i'm heading down into town want to catch the start of the pirate festival so come on let's go see what is going on i've left the caravan in a right old mess so i haven't dressed up but i've got me pirate bandana that's about it. So I've walked down into town and you know what? There's more pirates than normally dressed people. In fact, the people not looking like a pirate are the odd ones out. <laughs> the place is alive. What an absolutely beautiful day for the pirate festival. We'll walk along by the marina. Oh my goodness, how lucky was I? I literally got to the bus stop and the bus pulled up. That was so good. So that saved me a journey, but that poor bus driver. Oh, the traffic to get out of town. It was so busy. Well, I've been busy today. I'm having a tidy up like a proper clean up. The brush from the dustpan, put a tea towel on it. I've been cleaning the ceilings. There was so much dust up there. I was a bit peckish and I was like, mm, what do I fancy for lunch? I remembered we've got one tortilla wrap. So I'm gonna make some tortilla chips in the air fryer i've just ripped this one up i haven't even cut it up put a bit of olive oil on there some smoked paprika stick it in the air fryer i've made a little spicy mayo as well delish mr warner finishes work in about an hour's time so i'm gonna stroll back into town and meet him so we can walk back home together i go all the way down there i realized i didn't have my phone on me which I also realised would be useless because I'd be unable to tell Glenn that I was going to meet him in town. So I've come back for it. Anyway, I've got me phone now. Come on, let's go. It's been such a beautiful day. What a wonderful late afternoon. As I walk downtown, I pass many tired pirates that have been pirating hard today. I didn't think there'd be many people left down in the town, but oh... I was wrong about that. The party is still going. So I've met up with Mr. Warner. Have you had a busy day? Been busy. Been busy. Been busy. Are you ready for the walk home? Not really, but I've run about 25,000 steps already. Look at this beautiful car. Look. Stunning. Walking down to meet Mr. Warner seemed such a good idea at the time. Now we're both at a snail's pace walking back like Glenn says he's like a gazelle we made it big burger for dinner tonight good morning and welcome to Sunday the weather outside it is pouring it's great it's miserable it's wet and I just feel gutted for all the people that are involved and organised the pirate festival because nobody is going to be wanting to stroll around in this weather it's just nasty out there yesterday i managed over 19,000 steps oh, i don't know i don't know how i did it but i did i mean it was the walk backwards and forwards into town a few times um I paid for that though last night the pain in my knee was agony and i'm still hobbling around this morning combined with the rubbish weather and the fact that i can't go very far today is the perfect day for staying in pottering around making day yeah i'm gonna make some bread i'm gonna make some flapjacks most probably i'm gonna make a mess in doing those i may get my sewing machine out Oh, there's so much to look forward to today. I mean, for me, it's going to be dull for you. 
doll. But I'm going to just pot her around. I'm going to ring my mum in a minute catch up with her glenn's gone to work he messaged me earlier and just said it's wet and horrible out here the the weather has put a real dampener on today but it's not putting me off oh no i'm taking advantage of it as a stay in sort of day my mum gave me this packet of bread mix that she had knocking around in her cupboard she said can you use it i was like yes i can it says that i have to knead it for 20 to 25 minutes. I've got nothing else to do this morning, so let's get making. Right, I've needed that not quite for 25 minutes, but almost. I've made a right mess everywhere. It's one of the things that puts me off making bread. It's just so messy. I've got flour down me. I've got flour on my phone. I've got flour all over the place. I'm gonna cover that and I'm gonna stick it here which is the warmest place because it's near a radiator the rain update it's now heavily pouring not drizzle no downpour guess what it stopped raining it's clearing up sadly i still can't go out because i'm limping let's have a look at this bread Ooh right ready for me to knock that back i'm also watching old episodes of bridgerton i'm getting ready for the new season I can't wait. I cannot wait. What a difference a couple of hours make. Just look at that weather. I've managed to hobble down to the bin, but that's about it. I'm not going out. But instead of making flapjacks, I have found a different recipe for no-bake granola bars. And I'm going to give that a go. I literally am going through the cupboards, finding stuff and just pouring it in. In here, we've got some dried fruit some linseed some chia seeds some pumpkin seeds some oat i am now digging around in this honey to try and get half a cup of honey out of here i think i'm gonna cut open this bottle and, and scrape it all out i've got some peanut butter gonna melt that then i'll mix it together top it with chocolate it's gonna be a taste sensation my bread is going in the oven soon look at that bad boy I'm really taking this use what we got seriously. Tonight for dinner, there's two burgers left over. I'm gonna create a salad using the burgers. I've got some bacon, I've got some salad stuff. I'm gonna make a big salad. We're gonna have that fresh bread and then those bars for dessert. Mr. Warner, it's gonna be like, where did all this come from? I'm gonna be like, it was all in our cupboard. I made short work of that. I've managed to get a half a cup of honey and i've kept a little bit by for the salad dressing for tonight all i've got to do is melt the honey and the peanut butter stir it all together throw it in the tin well in my desire to use up everything that we've got in the cupboard this is a hefty thing i think we'll be eating this for weeks for the second time today i've made such a mess of the kitchen mr warner's back our loaf of bread isn't beautiful, but it tastes good. Mm. Right, let's give this a taste, Mr. Warner. It's got a bit, a bit of everything in there. Hello and welcome to Bank Holiday Monday. Now, I've had the most productive, stroke relaxing. Can those two things go hand in hand? I think they can because I've been productive and I've also been relaxed. The last day of the Pirate Festival today, I'm going to stroll because my knee... Is still a little bit dodgy i'm going to take my book i'm going to plot up in the sunshine next to the sea i'll then come back with mr warner and we're stopping for fish and chips on the way back what a difference from yesterday it's lovely and warm too i said i've been productive i have washed a load of shoes today freshened them up ready for the summer still fairly busy in town lots of pirates It was open day on the pilgrim boat so anyone could go along and just step on board and have a look round. The other boat, Victoria I think it's called, they're all packing up looking to get ready to set sail. There may have been many pirates here in Brixham today but is the original. I 
was really hoping to get on a boat trip this afternoon that was that I saw advertised on Saturday, but there's no sign of the boat and the sales office is all shut up. just come over and it's really changed the temperature it's really cold now but I'm sitting up here on this top deck reading and listening to the music I heard the cannons and that historic boat Victoria I just caught a glimpse of it leaving the marina area so I'm just rushing round to the breakwater see if I can see it setting off across the bay keep our eyes open see if we spot Glen while we're rushing round there it is Cutting across the bay. Got my coffee. That black cloud is looking ominous though. So I'm sitting waiting for Glenn to finish work. Still cracking on with my book. The tide's come in while I've been sitting here and I can't believe how high it is. We got two boats going out there, two rowing boats. And the sun's just come out again. Glenn finishes in 20 minutes. I see the rain coming in. I may have to go and wait in the car. Oh my goodness, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. I've just got to the car and the heavy rain has just started. I mean, it was perfect timing. Hi, oh, Mr. Warner's finished work. It's my Friday on a Monday. This is Friday on a Monday. He's not back at work for another week oh, till next Monday. Monday yeah. yeah, you deserve a lay in tomorrow, Mr. Well, Warner. I was meant to be on a course tomorrow, but they moved it to Friday and I'm, I can't do Friday. Yeah. So. We stopped off at the chip shop. We got one portion to share between us. Good morning, good morning. I've had the sweetest, the sweetest start to the day. I got up early. I've done not one, but two YouTube exercise videos. I've had a lovely shower. I've been for the gentlest of strolls and the green and the sunshine and the sea. Oh man, it was all amazing. A good start to the day today. I, I'm just about to set up and do some work this morning. Working till early afternoon. And then me and Mr. Warner will be free to do whatever we want. Mr. Warner, well, he's having a well-deserved lay-in this morning. Yeah, I mean, it's not that much of a lay-in. It's 8.20 and I've just taken him a cup of coffee. It wasn't a hint to get up. He can stay in bed for as long as he likes. He's had three days of working long days, doing a lot of steps and getting up early. He's earned that lay-in, that's for sure. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with some work and I'm sure Mr Warner will pop in at some point this morning to say hello. Good morning and welcome to Tuesday. So I had a nice lay-in this morning. I put the washing on, I've tidied in the bedroom, put some clothes away, made Mrs Warner a coffee. She made me one earlier, so it was just a reciprocal thing. I'm now going around to the office to book two high chairs for Harry, who is coming this weekend, and he can't get them in the car, so we need to book two for him so he hasn't got to worry about it. Making Mrs Warner a wrap. Visually attractive, I feel. There you go, Mrs Warner. Thank you. So I painted that chair the other day. I'm going to paint this chair today and I'll see if I can get the table done as well. Mr Warner's finished the other chair, he's now moved on to the table. Nice bit of masking up there Mr Warner. Those chairs look so much better. I've finished work now so I'm going to make Mr Warner a cup of tea and go and sit outside with him for a bit. So I'm sitting out here with Mr Warner having a cup of tea and listening to the birds singing. Now Sue on the Sunday morning premiere suggested a brilliant app that will tell you what birds are singing. So I've downloaded it. Let's see what it tells us. The app's called Merlin. Well, how cool is that? It's told me it's a blackbird, a robin, and a common chaffinch. I love that app. Thanks, Sue. Come on, let's go. Oh, I forgot that road was closed, Mr. Oh, yeah, Warner. 
so here we are again shopping we go twice a week generally i usually buy enough for three days at a time do you shop once a week do you shop every day do you go twice a week three times a week let me know what works for you glenn's sorting out the trolleys come on let's go so i just want to say a massive hello to jan who we've just bumped into in sainsbury's and it was lovely to chat to you jan thanks for saying hello. I'm not buying any more store cupboard ingredients. Got to use what we got. I completely went off piste with my list. And Mr. One spent £10.75 on some cans of Coke. 20 degrees outside. Don't worry, I'm not going to moan. It's too hot. I know I sorted through my summer clothes, but then I put them away and went back to my winter clothes. Because it was bloody cold. Because it was cold. But no, I need to draw the line. I need to pack the winter clothes away and say that is it that is it and we need to get summer clothes ready yeah we do glenn don't wear shorts until it's like august on, on the holiday. hottest day or we're on holiday yeah um, normally i don't get my legs out either and my legs in august are usually still white as anything so i've been using that dove tanning mousse yeah yeah um, I don't need to wait for the sunshine. I'm just going to tan out of the can. I'm cutting it a bit fine. I've got that much left to read of my book. I'm cooking dinner and reading. I am multitasking. The book club in a couple of hours should just have enough time. Right, that's it. Book finished. Time to dish dinner up. Just basically cooking some veg that I found in the bottom of the fridge. I've got a sachet of basmati and quinoa. Uh, I'm going to fry that in the pan. Got some chicken in the oven. I mean, that's going to be it. So I've dragged me summer clothes out from under the bed. Feel all summery now. Sun's still shining, that's good. I was just saying to Glenn, it's really weird because I'm not nervous about going and meeting new people. It doesn't make me nervous, in fact, I quite like it. I'm not nervous of like walking into a pub on my own where we're meeting, that doesn't bother me. But there's this little bit of resistance that it would just be so easy if I just said, oh, I'm not gonna go. So it's like, I've just got to nudge myself to go. Just a little nudge. Like, come on, go. Book club is at the Birdcage pub. Let's go in, see what it's all about. So I've just been to book club. That was a little bit intimidating. The lady I was sitting next to, I was chatting to her at the end. I mentioned that from Northampton. I said, I used to live in Northampton, in Duston and Kingsthorpe. What a small world it is. What a small world it is. Anyway, making my way back up the hill now. Good morning and welcome to Wednesday. I thought it was Tuesday. It's definitely Wednesday. So I'm just about to start work. Mr. One's getting up in a minute. It's a beautiful day and we'll catch you later. This is in a cupboard. I don't like it. No, no. I think we could downsize that, couldn't we? Yeah, or at least sort it out. I don't know why they put labels in sets. No one ever uses them apart from the only thing I think you ever use them for is mulled wine at Christmas. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Who's using a ladle? No one's using a ladle. Oh, no. <laughs> one of these spoons is not like the other one. I do like that one. That is my favourite okay, wooden so spoon. Can yeah. Can you can get rid of that. You can get rid of that and you can get rid of that. Yeah, so you I'll just keep my one special wooden spoon. So I've finished work and I've got a wonderful organised kitchen cupboard here because Mr. Warner was doing that while I was working. Much better. And these shelves, which just had stuff rammed on them, they've been sorted out as well. We are off to the range. We're on a mission. See this gorgeous kilner jar here? I've lost the lid. We bought a box of kilner jars from the auction years ago. And this had a bit of a rusty lid and it's disappeared. Now I think Mr. Warner's thrown it away because he thought it was a health hazard. Anyway. We're going to the range because they sell kilner jars and I think we might be able to buy a lid. It's another nice day. Can I just give you a statement of intent? I'm not buying anything in the range apart from a jar. That's it, nothing. No craft stuff, nothing. Oh, his jars. Oh, no, they're kilner, cool, aren't they? Yeah, but they're no lids. They're no lids, though. Oh, bugger. It's the one. Is it? Get the one ninety nine. Okay. 
dead plant section. This, is, this isn't a dead plant no, section. Mm. Yeah, well they got some peppers, some tomatoes. Come on, let's go. I'll dry that one at the end. Is. Oh no, we'll water them when we get back. We'll bring them back to life. We'll, yeah. we'll resurrect these. Look, Lisa, she leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes. So we're going to have a walk along the beach, maybe a sneaky coffee, but I'm also navigating to St George's Church Hall. I want to see where it is because they have a craft group on a Friday and I just want to check it out for future. That's I'll the hall. Say. Yeah, that's good. I know where that is now and there's a big car park. We've just come down this road. There's a little car park here which in the summer gets really full quickly but there's lots of space today so it's perfect stopping point. Seas out. The Shack Beach Shop and Takeaway for sale. Now there's a business for someone. Well, you can see why that foghorn was going off this morning. You can barely see Berry Head. You can see that mist rolling in. So we're going to try and seek shelter. It's a bit breezy near the beach huts. Let's see if we can see a steam train. Ken, what's just happened to you? You were eating your cinnamon bun and he dive bombed you. He made you drop the cinnamon bun, but you weren't letting him have it, were you, Glenn? No. You fought him for it, didn't you? And then you threw it in the bin. I did. Never mind. I've made I've most of it. We came down here because we thought it'd be sunny and warm and we'd go for a stroll. Not only is it cold and misty and foggy, but Glenn got attacked by seagull. I didn't know if I'd have realised it just happened so quickly. We didn't even see it coming, did we? It came up behind me, didn't it? It did. It actually sneaked up behind Glenn, landed on his head, and snatched yeah, the food out. Video, it would have been, been great. It would have been great if I'd have captured it. In fact, I might even give you something else to eat no. and just... <laughs> Will it fit? Ta -da! We left with now a little jar. Yeah. But we oh, well, I said we could always put a tea light in there. Yeah, we could. Glenn, what are you doing now? So basically, yes. This bottom piece of metal has been bothering me. It has for a long time. You've it's mentioned got, it a couple of times. Bit tatty and uh, just this piece here, it's a little bit tatty around the edges. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this off, yeah, mask it up, and I'm going to paint it the same grey as we did the furniture outside. Okie doke. Are you going for a proper strip down there, Mr Warner? Yeah, you know me, I can't be messing about. It's all filthy dirty, so I'm going to clean it all. Glenn, while you're sitting there eating your dinner, you've got a gathering. Well, good evening to you. I've not done much filming this afternoon. We've come back, we've had dinner. Mr. Warner is in the kitchen tidying up. It is that foggy outside. We were going to go to bingo tonight, but you know what? We all like, couldn't be bothered. Got my PJs on. Glenn goes, oh, it's a little bit early to go to bed, Lisa. It's only 8.30. I was like, no, just getting comfy. That's all I'm doing, just getting comfy. Hello, good afternoon to you. I've been working all morning. I'm going to pack my computer away now, but then I've got to get my other computer out because in 15 minutes, I'm speaking to my friend Dawn and Kaz. I have not spoken to them since before Christmas. I'm going to have a lovely catch up. I've got to stretch my legs for 15 minutes though because I just have not moved. After I've spoken to Dawn and Kaz, we're then popping out. We're going to the pub to meet some friends. Right, that's all phone calls sorted. I'm going outside to listen to some of these birds chirping and check them out on my app. It's interesting in sequence. They do, don't they? It's like they call out to each other. I love it. I love this app. Thanks, Sue, for recommending it. Oh, got a rook. I heard that. I got heard a rook that. in the mix. After yesterday's fog, Mr. Warner, this is quite a delight. So we're going to go and meet up with Steve and Mariana. Mariana is over from Mexico, so it's going to be good to see her. We saw Mariana at the end of last year. So I think I saw it September, October time, so it's going to be good to catch up. There's that lovely cottage again, Mr. Warner. 
surviving through Torquay on this sunny day. It always brings the people out. Roadworks is still causing chaos. Well, we're close to the front of the queue now. And we're off. Oh, I bet the businesses and the town will be so happy when this is all finished. Well, this looks lovely. We've navigated the parking machine. Glenn, Glenn's going to put the ticket. So I didn't think we were by the sea. I wasn't paying much attention, but we must be because there's the coast path. So the sea must be very close. So we're going to see if the Thatch Tavern is open. It is looking very lovely. Look at this place. This way, we're going to go and sit out in the garden. Sitting next to a little wishing well. Cheers. So we are leaving here now. This is such a beautiful place, but we are going in search of food because it's in the afternoon. They don't serve food here until later. We're all a bit peckish, so off we go. Actually, we're just saying there's a cafe open. Oh, hold on, guys. They stop serving food at 3 p.m., hot food. But this is good to know. We're not going down there today. I'm just going to have a look. I didn't even see this when we arrived, that there was a sign that said beach, cafe and toilets. That was so lovely. So we started off at that gorgeous thatch pub, but because they didn't do food, we then came to Babacombe. Yeah, that was so lovely. Anyway, we got to get back now. I need to get my editing going on before Harry and Hayley come down tomorrow. I don't want to be spending tomorrow editing. I know we've said it before, but it's like a different place when the sun shines. It just looks amazing. So we just got back in, Glenn's settling down to watch a movie. I'm about to do some video editing, but I'm gonna stick some fruit in the oven and just cook that with some butter and some cinnamon. And I'll have that with some yogurt in a bit. Right, that's going in the oven and I'm off to do a bit of editing. Top with a bit of chocolate and granola. Good morning and welcome to Friday. I woke up this morning so happy. Like that irritating happy. I can't help myself. Can't help it. I just keep thinking, keep it in check, Lisa. Keep it in check. Mr. Warner has had to endure excessive happiness this morning. I can take it in little doses. Anyway, today is going to be a fabulous day. Not only is the sun shining, the sky is blue, all is well in the world. It's Friday. Harry, Hayley and the twins are coming to stay for the weekend. Man. Do Fridays get any better? Mr. One has not had such a great morning because Beth's called. There was a problem with the car. She's borrowing the BMW and he'll be worrying about that. He's given over the phone support to Beth and we're going to be back next Thursday anyway. I was up at 5.30 this morning editing. I'm all caught up. I love it when I'm organised. While Harry and Hayley are coming down the motorway, we're going into town. There's a couple of things I need. Number one, I'd ordered a hard drive last week and I completely forgot about it. Sitting at the post office in Brixham ready for me to collect. I hope they haven't sent it back. So we, we need to go and collect that. Secondly, I said that I'd get some bits in for the babies and Hayley sent over what they like. So we've got to pick that up as well. I'm not sure I'll be able to get that in the little co-op or Tesco's in Brixham. So we may have to take a trip to Sainsbury's. Oh, you know I love Sainsbury's. Anyway, come on, let's go. Let's get this day started. Hopefully my over-enthusiasm and Glenn's under enthusiasm for the day and we'll middle out somewhere in the middle come on let's go so i've picked my parcel up from the post office i've been to both co-op and tesco's and they didn't have any of uh, the yogurts that i need for the, for the babies so uh we're gonna go to Paynton to sainsbury's but first i want to stop off at the library i want to have a look at what's going on locally and also that there's a magazine called the signal which has everything going on so come on let's go Oh my goodness, they were so helpful and lovely in there. We've been able to sign up to the library here, even though we're members of the library 
back in Northampton. So they were like, no, no, you can sign up at both. So we've done that. Mr. Warner's signed up as well. First time he's had a library card for decades. They've given us a whole load of leaflets of what's going on, but just around the corner is the council building and they've got the signal magazine. So let's go get one of those. Got a copy of the local council magazine. So we've came to check out the Pity for Lose. Blue packet, no added sugar. Yeah, they're the ones. Glenn's has spotted his favourite crisps. They're not quite as big as the bag I normally get. So that's the shopping purchased. We've got some groceries for dinner. Hayley requested the halloumi peanut noodles that I made when we were at Centre Park. So I've got all the ingredients for those. We're heading back now. It's busy out here today. Everybody's going somewhere, washing their cars, queuing to get home, popping into McDonald's. It's all going on here. So Joe, who owns the caravan that Harry and Hayley are staying in, has just messaged us to say that it's available from now. So we're going to walk around and put the baby's yogurts in the fridge so they're all ready for when they arrive. We've also got to make sure high chairs are sorted. So Joe rents out her caravan and I'll tell you what, I'll put a link to the Facebook page in the description just in case you ever fancy a holiday at South Bay. So here it is. Well, I think this is the one. Uh, D31, is that what it says? That's what it says. Uh, our caravan is just there. Let's have a look. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, how lovely is this? So that's the caravan and the high chairs all sorted, ready for Harry and Hayley to arrive. They're going to be about another hour and a half, so we're just heading back to our van. Uh, I'm, I'm going to crack on with my audio book, maybe do a bit of crochet. Look at all the daisies. They seem to have come, uh, appeared like overnight. So we just grabbed a drink and I'm sitting here doing my crochet. Harry's not far. Not for about five, ten minutes. Is this hey it is them? They have arrived. You made it. How was the journey? Oh, Jolly good. Hello, my darling. Did you have a sleep? Did you sleep? <laughs> nice hat. You're not happy about your hat, are you? And you, not that happy about your hat either. Have you got Pappy's watch? Have you got Pappy's watch? Oh, Glenn, Glenn, watch out. Yeah. We're being stalked. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> These girlies have had dinner. It's all quite chilled out in here. Hi. Yeah. Glenn and Harry have been down to get fish and chips. Well, that's substantial, isn't it? Mm. Substantial. We just got back in. And went, oh man, the fish and chips was lovely. That fish was giant. Baby's gone to bed. We've left Hayley and Harry to just enjoy some some peace and quiet this evening. I'm not going to bed yet, but I'm going to get my comfies on and put my feet up, do a bit more crochet listen to an audio book it's like the perfect evening there we go mr we, warner it was a busy weekend last weekend for me and harry coming down with hayley what an absolute joy to have them here for the weekend Indeed. i just want to say a massive thank you to kathy for buying us a coffee oh, thanks kathy thank you next week I'm working monday, monday tuesday, tuesday wednesday, wednesday. Yeah. back to northampton Oh, I'm off to Birmingham. I'm going to a concert. I'm celebrating Zara's 50th birthday. I mean, it's all going on next week. So, hope you can join us. Take care. Have a great week. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.